Trail Team, it's your boy D Nino back with another reaction video, guys. We got Michael McIntyre doing stand up comedy. I don't think I've reacted to Michael yet. If I have, I do not remember. But he's doing only British people do this. And before we dive in, I need y'all to dive into that subscribe button, read notification bell, get a video a thumbs up so I get suggested. Drop your favorite suggestion in the comment section. Oh, we got Michael. My best news physically, which I'd like to share with you, ladies and gentlemen, is that I can walk properly now, okay? I walk heel to toe, <laughs> which is the recommended way to walk. I'm hamming it up slightly. You seem very impressed. That's how you're supposed to walk. That's how you walk heel to toe. It's okay. It comes naturally to me. I actually walk on my toes naturally, but I now have something called corrective shoes. Very sexy. Um, <laughs> And they forced me to be a normal person like you. I'll show you what they're called orthotics. And they're in my shoes and they basically, they're shaped to push my feet to behave normal. Okay. To because without them, well, I revert. I'll show you. I've got these little flat feet and I walk as if I'm falling. That's my natural walk. <laughs> <laughs> like I've been pushed at the beginning. But yeah, that is, a, that is a weird walk. I ain't even, it's like you're leaning forward and walking. Like, oh, everything. That's my natural walk. Like I've been pushed at the beginning of the day. See you later. Oh, am I off? Okay, thanks. <laughs> I'll be home at about 5.30 if I can find a route back to you. Okay. <laughs> you can see it on my other DVDs. I, I can't stop myself. I'm literally just careening. <laughs> and I That's run crazy. on my toes as well. I run up. Show this me. is my natural run. This is how I feel most... <laughs> Yeah, that's kind of weird. That, that, that does not seem natural, but people are born different ways. Run on my toes as well. I run up. This is my natural run. This is how I feel most comfortable. <laughs> Please don't laugh because people have laughed. <laughs> I run up because you're supposed to run on your, well, on your heels and toes, but I mean, I, my feet won't do it. I've tried my whole life to be like you. It just doesn't... It just uh, I can't get it going. I guess when, when I'm sprinting, I'm more on my toes, actually. It's not like he's runs. It's more of a lean forward, like, sprinting. But I'm on my toes, but not like the way he Be is. like you. It just doesn't... It just uh, I can't get it going. <laughs> it just feels so unnatural to run like that. How do you, and how do you get any speed, anyway? <laughs> I don't get it. I mean, why don't you just fucking run? <laughs> <sighs> I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, why don't you just run in your toes and walk in your toes? Be the man you were born to be. You don't have to conform to the masses. Well, the thing is, I do. Because uh, when you're on your toes all the time, I had terrible pain in my calf muscles. And also, they've ballooned to a quite an unhealthy sort of monster level. I'm going to show you what I've done, but seriously, this will frighten some of you. You'll be pleased at your seat when I show you the, the monster that I have become. I literally have the biggest calves. Oh my lord. I mean, to put it in perspective, they're the size of a shoe. Look at this. Yes. My lord. Yeah, they're almost the size of your thigh. Like, these calves are huge, bro. Yeah, oh, he, so he's not lying. That's how he naturally walks. That's how he naturally runs. You can see that in the size of his calf muscles. That's crazy. I don't know if I don't know if I've seen like his calf muscles are they're the size of an arm. My lord. Yeah, I, I don't know what to say. The size of a shoe. Look at God. This. They're huge. Yes, don't zoom in. That's just taking the piss. Isn't it? <laughs> but you can see what I've done. Look. My lord! When you're on your toes, then... <laughs> it's like someone's trying to get out. Because <laughs> 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 I've actually got quite little <clears throat> thighs. Don't worry, I'm not going to take my trousers off. I'm just... I was on holiday in the summer and I was in my shorts by the pool and there was this kid with his mum and he said, Mummy? Why is that man's legs on upside down? That's rude. 
these things from my shoes. I've got to tell you, one of the funniest places I've ever been because everybody in there was like me. They were my peeps. They all needed walking correcting. <laughs> Nobody could walk in there. So I came here with my flat foot. My wife gave me a push from the car. Oh, okay, I'm going in now. <laughs> Hello, I'm here for my <clears throat> from 30. I do take a seat. You'll be in shortly. Thank you. Thank you for help. I went to take a seat. The next guy came in. I'm not exaggerating. It was like he was ice skating. I literally, I don't even know how he was walking forward. His legs were flexible. <laughs> Left and right, but not forward. <laughs> Wait! There's no way. There's no way someone was walking like that, bro. There's no way. His legs were pressing <laughs> left and right, but not forward. Like he was doing everything. Like he kept changing his mind. Is it that way or that way? I have no idea. <laughs> He might as well just put his hands behind his back and just go on the whole hog. Well, I'm here for 11.45, I set up on foot at 6 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> it's all the way over there. Very annoying. Oh, shoot. I've kicked you. I do that. I'm sorry. It's one of the reasons I'm here. This guy came out before us who has yeah. been seen, and he had this amazing sort of rolling hip, sort of all pelvis. Like he was listening to music that you couldn't hear. It was actually pretty cool. But this guy had come out. He was in his orthotics. He had been fixed. But oh, he was the state of the man as he came to pick them up. <laughs> oh, I need to pick up my orthotics. Oh, thank you. It's better. I wouldn't say it was perfect, but it's, it's good. It's a step in the right direction. Which is more than you can do. I saw you come in. Sorry about that. I would have loved to have seen us all walking together. If somebody came in. Is a traffic warden outside? Oh, shit. Mine's the Vauxhall Astro. I'm never gonna make it. I'm coming, I'll sort you out, don't worry about that. Did somebody say traffic warden? Here I come! I'm not without these Come on! <laughs> so now I'm back, you know, I'm 100%, I'm healed to Oh my I'm gosh, thrilled. man. My calves are actually getting a little smaller. <laughs> I'm shoes on like that, so it's not to waste time. <laughs> and I... <laughs> This the other day. I've got a tight seat. <laughs> that is crazy. <laughs> That's wild. Uh, that is that is absolutely wild, bro. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. <laughs> You're sitting really, there watching me do this on the screen. He really can't get past it. I can't do the show. Can you just pull it down, would you mind? Don't pull me off the stage. I thought maybe your husband would help. Look at him, he's a... Oh, everything. I thought he would too, Michael. I thought he would too. She's like, oh, no, sweet. I'm a mother. We have to do these sorts of things all the time. Stage. I thought maybe your husband would help. Look at him, he's a... I'm sorry, too much. Sorry. I do have a show to do. <laughs> There's only 15,000 people waiting if you don't mind. <laughs> Why didn't you do it? She's so strong. <clears throat> She's a doctor, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> She's a doctor. <laughs> thank you so much. Doctor. Thank you, doctor. <laughs> Steve, you should have done that. He's sitting there and she's a doctor. You can't use that as every excuse. <laughs> Tony, get the bags from the car. You're the doctor. I'll be inside. <laughs> I love Mike, bro. I love Mike. This man is hilarious. Tony, get the bags from the car. You're the doctor. I'll be inside. <laughs> but I've got to tell you that <laughs> these shoes... They've slowed me down a little bit. My old walk was faster, heel to toe. It's quite leisurely because sometimes you need to walk fast. You need to bring out your fast walk. I feel you're not allowed to run in some social situations. You're not allowed to run, but you need to be going as fast as you can. Like when I came back from holiday recently, you're actually you're racing. When the plane lands, you're racing everybody on the plane to get to the bags. It's a race, but it's not acknowledged. 
Nobody yeah. acknowledges that it's a race, but they are passengers who become competitors as soon as the seatbelt sign is off. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to London Heathrow. What do you Get set to go! <laughs> Sometimes you politely let people off into the aisle. No, after you. No, please, after you. But you're eyeballing them. I'll get you in the tunnel, dickhead. I swear to God. This lead that I just gave you, I'll be reclaiming that in the funnel before we even reach the tunnel. Because as soon as you get out, you've got your bangs, you start jockeying for position overtaking. Sometimes they respond, but they never look over. They've never acknowledged that there's a race. They speed up. No, you bloody don't. But they never acknowledge that it's a race. I know exactly what's going on. People's children, I need to pee. There's no way we can pee. We're in fourth place, piss your pants. We could win this. Come on. <laughs> I like it when you get to the moving floor, you know, the travelator floor. You know, when you step on and suddenly you're moving at twice the speed. Because right next to the moving floor is a non moving floor option. Yeah. Which I think we can just call floor now that I think it's. <laughs> it's a non moving floor option, which I think we can just call floor. Yeah. <laughs> Mike is hilarious, bro. I swear, this man is Floor. killing me. Which I think we can just call Floor, now that I think it is. <laughs> and most normal people take the moving floor option because the bloody floor is moving. But some people, you know who you are, you decide for some reason you can beat all of the people on the moving floor. And you realize your mistake quite early and have to justify it by bringing out the fastest walk that you've ever even attempted. <laughs> I am justified to take the non-moving floor. I will beat all of you. But you can't. People on the moving floor are just like, you're never going to beat me. I'm on a moving floor again. <laughs> but it doesn't matter how well you do in the race. There's only one actual winner of the race, as we all know. And that's the elderly on the back of the buggy. And don't they love their little moves? Thanks, thanks. As they come beeping past. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> <laughs> but then you've got to get through customs, and let's be honest, that slows you down. It doesn't matter if you've done very well out of your plane, because lots of the planes are arriving at the same time. And then when you've got to do the passport, that's when it can be big queues, regardless of how well you've done in your initial race. That's where they have the big ropes, the big zigzag rope system to accommodate all the people, right? And sometimes you get there, and there are no people. You can't believe it. It's amazing. It's just like, oh, this is the Holy Grail. It's just empty ropes and people That's waiting for the good. passports. We're going to be out of here in no time. I don't know how other nationalities deal with this situation. I presume that Americans just hurdle the ropes. Yeehaw! Yeehaw! Pass me the kids, honey. Woo! Woo! Yeehaw! Germans probably unhooks her rope. Family comes through, then rehooks the rope on the other side. Unhooks the next rope, family, come on through. And now I shall rehooks the rope on the other side. <laughs> and hopes the following rob family comes through. Brazilians probably do limbo under the room. <laughs> these people, it doesn't even cross our minds. We just look at the ropes and off we go. <laughs> oh my gosh, bro. I need more of this guy. I need more of this guy. We just look at the rope. They know you're British, by the way, you handle the rope system. <laughs> Come on through. Welcome home. <laughs> Baggage reclaimed for. Hope you had a great haul. I think it's amazing how British people are so obedient of the rope system. I feel we should have them up and about in life to force people into exercise. There's problems in this country with obesity and lack of exercise. Let's have rope systems that people just find themselves in. Like, as it stands, you can just go to the supermarket, you go to the cake aisle and just put cake in your trolley and chocolate biscuits and profiteroles and donuts and cheese. 
what I'm suggesting is just as you're reaching for the donuts, there's a little rope system that you'll find yourself. What? <laughs> what is the donuts? <laughs> Where am I going? <laughs> you're going to the park, fatty. <laughs> Those donuts are eight miles from you. You'll get them when you deserve them. <laughs> oh, bro, I love this dude. I love this dude. Uh, that's all we got for this one. You guys got a favorite video suggestion? Drop it in the comment section. So, or uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Ring the notification bell. Give the video a thumbs up. It's your boy Dina. Out.